Over the last 40 years, University Hospital of Wales has played an ever more important role in healthcare, both for the local population of Cardiff and the Vale of Glamorgan, and for people from across Wales who've needed its specialist and tertiary services. UHW has a very rich history and it's touched the lives of countless families and individuals, some of whom wanted to share their appreciation for the care and the support the hospital has given them and to share with us their memories since the Queen officially opened the hospital on November the 19th, 1971. I was glad it was coming to Cardiff, as I was a resident of Cardiff as well. I thought that was brilliant. It was right on my doorstep. I'd, li I'd lived in Heath, so it was right on my doorstep. But uh, it was very impressive. It was spread over a large area, so I imagined that there was a lot of traffic going to come in. There was a lot of departments that were going here. I had no idea which departments, um, but it was, it was a project that I thought was magnificent. I can always remember on the day, day the Queen came there, by the time they actually got to the wart, um, you know, they were running a bit late. And uh, the Duke of Edinburgh went off to the women's end and the Queen came round to the, to, the, to the men's end. You know, they just came in, sort of went round, sort of nodded, said hello, and uh, uh, I think the girls had the be better the sort of visit with, uh, with the Duke of Edinburgh down the other end. We were in yellow uniforms. We all had to wear yellow uniforms, the student nurses at that time. We were christened the daffodils, for obvious reason. And um, we had to wear red sashes across our uniform and white gloves came up to the hospital and um, we were positioned in strategic points where guests were walking along. And at one point I was in the main, um, the front of the hospital was the main entrance then, when the Duke of Edinburgh came past um, and we were lined up with our red sashes and his, his usual cryptic humour turned to somebody in the party and said, oh, is this a Miss Wales competition? All I can remember on the day is um, I was standing outside the main concourse reception um, and then the, 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 uh, the Queen arrived with her husband, uh, Prince Philip, and uh, her entourage again, and they came in. And I was just um, standing to one side in my uniform, my, th my thick three-piece uniform. It was a very, very hot day. and then. Um, and when she walked through the main reception, she was greeted by all top management. And um, she was taken to um, the tablet to unveil uh, the hospital. One of those at the official opening and a key figure in establishing the University Hospital of Wales was Provost of the Welsh School of Medicine, Alan Trevor Jones. His son Roger, who worked at the hospital as a paediatrician for many years, believes his father would be proud of the hospital today. Uh, my father, when he, um, together with the uh, chairman of the, um, of the hospital authority, um, cut the first sod and therefore started the building of the UHW, he would be extremely pleased with the developments that have gone on in the hospital. He always saw this as, uh, dare I say, state of the art at the time. But he, he, he was a man of vision, and I think uh, uh, he could see in, 19, in, 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 in the 1960s um, that um, medical care, hospitals, uh, in, in 40 years' time would not be the same. They would change, they would improve, and I think uh, this is what's happened here in the UHW. It's changed and it's improved. And I think he would, he would definitely ap approve of that. The work of the hospital has had a huge influence on the lives of those it cares for, many of whom wanted to use the 40th anniversary to thank staff and to share their memories of UHW. When I look back now, when I was here, it seemed basic to what they've got today, it's, it's wonderful. You know, the, the birthing baths. What I remember is just a, uh, just a, a room, a square room, yeah. with nothing that, you know, just cold, put it that way, colder, where it's more warmer now. That's, sort of, that's the impression I've got. 
I think each one of us, we're blessed that we have such a wonderful hospital that we have today. Proud dad Dario is particularly grateful for the efforts of UHW staff who not only helped him beat leukaemia, but also cared for his twin babies who were born prematurely, weighing not much more than a pound. Staff, I, I can only praise them. They, they, they've got so much care for you and it gets you through every day because you need that. You need, you need people boosting you up every day, man. Because there's some dark times when you're in there. We never ever thought of anything different rather than bringing the babies home and living happily ever after. Maybe it was a conference I'd had in the hospital, I don't know, but everything just felt it was going to be okay. None of us would be here if it wasn't for the Heath.